I think it was good to save the 100k on not getting the extra 10% launch reliability. Of course, I'll be eating my words if this now explodes, but it meant we could get working on Cosmos uh, a month earlier than we would have otherwise. And the launch goes off without a hitch. Wonderful. Okay, that is exactly what we needed. Oh, nothing even goes slightly wrong. Perfectly secure launch. Excellent. We're getting a bit of experience for the Cyclone Booster, which we're using to cheaply launch our request missions. Ah, and there we go. Earth Oceans, tell us how salty the water is. Probably a little bit saltier from uh, all those American tears from all those milestones we keep being <laughs> to. Right, uh, this shouldn't be too complicated. Confirm commands. The payload reliability of this mission is actually pretty good as well. So this, yeah, this should be pretty bog standard. Just resist that. Bish bash bosh. Uh, we'll need to recharge a little bit, but that is fine. Uh, right, what do we need? We need a bit more navigation and a lot more comms. Right, that takes us up to our main objective. And then we just have to get to the bonus objective. So that's fine. Just play it a little safe. That's all good. And we're on our last turn. Ah, I forgot. So yeah, this mission gave us one fewer turn to do things. Then we upgraded the planetary observation thing, which is why we get such a high data return. Right, I remember. Can we actually complete this? I think we can. I think that's the best way we have of doing that. Go for it. And yeah, okay, we're fine. We're fine, I think. Oh, nope. Okay. I have to resist that. Okay, nothing can go wrong with the final one, I think. Oh, no, something can go wrong. Yeah, no, it'll be fine. We'll be able to resist it because that one doesn't actually use power. But no, everything's gone. Everything's gone absolutely to plan. Perfect. Gorgeous. And look at that. What a bonus. Right before the funding review. That's going to go down very well. How is China so far ahead? My God. This is really neck and neck. <laughs> yeah, the Centaur would have been a little cheaper. But we needed the block day for other stuff. Um, like, you know, researching it meant that we could use it for future missions as well. Um, but yeah, we can't afford it, unfortunately. So we'll have to wait until we have a little bit more money. There we go. Okay, we should have got a bunch of extra support. There we are. Yes, excellent. Okay. So we're getting quite a bit more every month. And we finished our vehicle assembly building. So everything's going to get built faster. <gasps> Japan failed to launch the Venus Impactor. Yes! Stroke like that does, however, mean China might be first. But it gives us a good shot at second. So we're not actually currently working on anything. We're just trying to save up money um, to do these missions, which is a little painful, to be honest. Orbit EVA research complete. First image was successful. Space was short to capture the imagination of the planet at large. Um, honestly, I'm feeling we get working on this now and we just take the science hit because, um, again, it's just the money and the support that we need. It's not the science. Like, our science... Is progressing faster. Our research is progressing faster than our support can keep up with. Uh, from that request mission that we last did, we get a big science bonus from that. And this should give us a lot of science anyway. So, I think, yeah. Do it a little cheaper. Um, and get building it, like, three months earlier. Let's do it. For some reason, I'm thinking Venus is hot. And what's something that's hot? The kettle I use to make my tea. Kettle ski. Boom. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea what I'm doing with these names, but sure. Kettle ski. Um, vehicle reliability should actually be pretty decent. So, yeah, let's go for it. Okay, and that'll be complete in five months. Uh, it looks like China successfully launched their mission. Oh, no, they're launching it this month. Japan is launching in 12 months, so we should be able to beat Japan to it and get at least second, so that's fine. Let's set our research anyway. Let's decide between one of those two missions so we can be first or something. That's 700 support, that's 600, so yeah, we'll do Mercury Orbit. 
And then we've got to do Venera 9. But we should have all of the equipment we need to launch that mission. So that should be absolutely fine. And then maybe we'll go back and do Mars flyby and stuff. But again, we're just trying to get first to milestones and, and rush for the, the crewed moon landing. Because we really, really want to do that first. Um, while we're waiting, we've got a mission slot available. Let's do Orbital EVA and see how much another Voskop would cost. That's 600k... 342k. Okay, so in two months we could get building that. So let's do that. Uh-oh. China's completed phase one of Venus Impactor. Yeah, they're going to beat us to that. But to be expected, it's what China does. Mercury orbit research has been completed, though. So we can get researching Venera 9. Get working on some more interplanetary missions. In the meantime, orbital EVA. Uh, <laughs> we'll just do another prototype one with two crew members. Um, having a low payload reliability isn't too bad. We're just going to keep doing that um, until it kills someone. Because that's the only way we learn lessons in this space program, apparently. And NASA's launching the Orbital EVA next month. But, you know, we can always cross our fingers and see that it explodes. How is China launching two interplanetary missions at once? I just, I just don't know where they're getting all this money from. We just need to do... We just need to get more support. Um, complete more of these milestones. I think we pissed about with request missions a bit too much. Thought we always had to have two missions on the go. And that's shot us in the foot, really. Uh, which is very irritating. But what can you do? We're going to need a lot of money for the Voss Gods mission. So we'll just keep saving up money, I think. Right. Kettle Ski is ready. But the launch reliability has tanked, as usual. Payload mission training bonus, the one that we never use, is increased by 100%. So, why is it always launch reliability that goes down? Is it something to do with the fact that we're... <laughs> the contract that we're using? I, I don't know. Um, okay, Japan is launching this in March. Um, but we can't really afford to launch this any sooner. Because we really don't want this exploding. So, you know, if we tie with Japan, so be it. Um, I don't mind tying with someone. Confirm mission setup. Okay, and Voskod is complete. And we can do our EVA. Look at that beautiful spacecraft. Again, why is it always the launch reliability? I... <laughs> Every time. What is it? I'm so confused. Right, Nursky, here we go. This is the second one. We don't have to posthumously name it the first one on this one, because thankfully the first one didn't explode. Uh, right, five month build time. Uh, oh, which contractor are we using? We're using the one that makes it cheaper. Yeah, we can't afford it any other way. <laughs> I love this contractor, not going to lie. Confirm. And build vehicle. Go to solar system. Right, NASA completed the orbital EVA, and Japan is launching that Venus Impactor. Uh, did China succeed? Yes, they did. God damn it. How did the Mars mission go? Is that there yet? Not quite. Uh, yeah, they completed the flyby. Their orbit is almost there. We can fingers crossed that it explodes. Um, but I don't know. I'm not that hopeful. Okay, orbital EVA though. We should get we should get a comfortable third. And we'll get this bonus to minus 50% research costs for buildings. Not that we're really researching any buildings, but you know, whatever. Um, is there anything we can do in the meantime? Not really. We've got a funding review coming up, though. Ah, China completed the Mars orbit. God damn it. And we've got new uh, request missions available. This vehicle grants a vehicle upgrade. That is interesting. Onboard cameras vehicle upgrade. NASA's launching the Mars flyby soon. Mm, yeah, we, we were slow to the draw with that one. Still, funding review. We haven't really done anything this year. I don't see us getting any more money. Uh, but we're about to launch some stuff, so... We'll see. Yeah, nothing. We've done nothing. Absolutely nothing this year. Just saving up money and trying to launch things, uh, unfortunately. Still. Nursky 2 and then our Venus Impactor are going up, and then we can launch some, a few more missions. So, here we go. Signing astronaut Zora and Econova will increase science mission training bonus by 100%. But 
we're not going to use that because <laughs> if we're launching these two up again, can't afford to hire any more astronauts. But yeah, launch reliability as always. Um, that's just where everything goes wrong. Um, we're not really in any rush for this one. So I'm feeling August, to be honest. Nobody else is launching any sooner. That would take us up to 92%. And with these, yeah, with two astronauts on board, again, not a risk we can take. So, yeah, we'll do that. So, quite a bit later in the year, but such is the way our space program is headed. Uh, we've got a lot of money, but we're going to need a lot of money to work on Venera 9 when we do finally do that. Anyway, Venus Impactor, here we go. We're launching at the same time as Japan. Fingers crossed their second attempt explodes. As that first one did. Let's do this. This will unlock a much needed mission slot. Although, I don't know if the mission slot is actually unlocked after launch. Since this is a multi-month mission, it might not be unlocked um, until it actually reaches Venus and bonks its surface. I guess we'll just have to see. First test of the block day upper stage though, which is going to be important for our moon mission as well. We're going to need that to launch the Soyuz to the moon. All right, go ahead. 83% launch reliability. I will take those odds. Here we go. There's something very majestic about Russian launch vehicles. And we're all good. Our Venus Impactor is on its way. <laughs> we cut it a bit close though. That's all right though. So yeah, that's what I'm interested in. Leveling up that block day upper stage because we're going to need that for a lot of our missions. Still, this is just phase one. So I assume we need to do our trans-Venus injection. Yeah, enter Venus transfer orbit. That's a new resource actually. What's that? Thrust, a special resource often required when the payload is undertaking a change of orbit or course correction. Aha, but it will decrease at the start of the next turn. You have to plan ahead. You can generate enough to finish the task. That is interesting. So it's reduced by minus one at the start of the next turn. Sure, okay. This is this is <laughs> getting more complicated as they add more resources to the game. Uh, but yeah, that should work out okay. This is interesting. Ooh, okay, that was close. And signal return test. Oh, and something's going wrong. Ah, no. That's all right. We'll resist it. We've got plenty of power to start with. And then, okay, so we take a hit on the thrust mission resource. So we should get the main objective pretty easily. Uh, but that bonus objective, it's double the resources for a 50% bonus reward. Um, and this is a multi-stage mission as well, so... I don't know, it's going to be interesting, to, well, difficult, really, to be able to hit that. This is the only thing that actually gives us a thrust resource, so we just have to do this controlled burn every time. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, no. Ah, our payload reliability leaves a lot to be desired. I'm glad I did decide to recharge there, though. Otherwise, we would have been left with no power for this one. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm not optimistic to be honest we're going to be able to hit that bonus objective i'm going to try my best but uh, yeah it's not looking great to be honest yeah with the amount of failures we've just had i yeah yeah i don't think it's going to happen come on oh okay yeah with this payload reliability i don't, I don't see us achieving it there we go last turn Okay, this is one of the first times we've actually not achieved our bonus reward, but as long as we're comfortably achieving the mission objective, that's fine. We probably could have done that more efficiently. Uh, maybe I wasn't doing that the best possible way, you know, generating comms resource to get that thrust resource. Still, we get a little bit of support just for doing that transfer. And it is comfortably on its way. Yeah, Japan's launched it, so oh goodness me, it's the race to Venus. <laughs> Here we go. Don't know where that Japanese one's going. Wait, did it fail? No, no, it is in progress. So as long as they do their 
Atmospheric entry correctly. We'll draw. That's fine. Get the active mission screen to continue this mission. Okay, multi-phase, multi-month mission. This is cool. Check it out. I actually learned a lot about the early Venus missions for my university dissertation, although I had to suspend my studies due to my back injury. Uh, I get to keep my title for next year. I'm actually designing an infrared radiometer for a potential Venus atmospheric probe. A little fun fact for you all. So I now know uh, a lot of fun facts about Venus uh, and a lot of stuff that isn't known about it. Which is interesting. Apparently it's equatorial regions, at least in the upper atmosphere, are actually cooler than its polar regions. And it's not fully understood why that is, <laughs> which is why there's a big push for more missions to go. Although there is that newly announced NASA mission, which is going back, um, which is pretty cool because NASA hasn't sent a mission to Venus for decades. And there's a lot we are yet to learn about it. Anyway, uh, this should be feasible. It was just because we only had one way of generating that thrust resource in the last one. Uh, we are having to manage heat, however. That should be okay. This is a good starting turn, I think. And things were already going wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, maybe for this interplanetary mission, I maybe should have put a bit more of an emphasis on the payload reliability. But um, still, we're... yeah. I think we, we rushed this mission as well, didn't we? So we're tanking on the science anyway. So we really kind of need this bonus reward to get much out of it. Okay, task will end if heat reaches 5 at the end of the turn. So we're at 4. We need to get rid of some of that. I think that's a comfortable thing to do, just in case things go wrong. So we have the power to resist it. Um, yeah, I think that's a safer bet. So we're going to reach a, <laughs> a maximum amount of heat. Uh, but that is fine. I think. I think that's fine. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. So this is going to go to 5 now, but as long as it doesn't stay that way by the end of the turn, we'll be okay. Whew, okay, yeah. <laughs> that is how it works. Cool, perfect. Okay, yeah, this one's this one's more comfortable. Okay, so we need to get a bit, rid of a bit more heat, but that's okay. Um, so these are generating resources that we don't need now, uh, <laughs> which is a bit irritating. Uh, but this one doesn't use power, so that's okay. We'll do that. Uh, and then we need three more... That, so... How much excess? Yeah, we've got plenty of this. Plenty of excess navigation. So that, that works. Six, five, eight. Confirm commands. And uh, that failed, but we got plenty of power. And there we go! Successful Venus Impactor. We successfully slapped Venus in the face and achieved second.